Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a closer look and taste the Charbonneau A. Walker Heritage Collection Fine Milk and Dark Chocolates. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box are Charbonneau A. Walker Fine Milk and Dark Chocolates. They have a weight of 325 grams. Just taking a look at the details of the box packaging. And on the underside of the box, there is some information about the chocolatier and its history. And the ingredients list of the chocolates inside, as well as nutrition information. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by pulling off the ribbon. And just tearing it off and setting it to the side. So just setting the ribbon on the left hand side of the table. And let's lift up the box lid. And before we can do that, we need to cut apart the clear sticky tape that's keeping the box secured. All right, let's try lifting up the lid now and giving you a look directly inside the box. So just setting the lid on the right hand side of the table and giving you a top-down look into this heritage collection of fine milk and dark chocolates by Charbonnel A. Walker. So instantly I can smell the aroma or scent of the chocolate coming from the box. Now let's lift up the menu. And taking a look at the menu front and back and giving you some idea of the size or thickness of the menu and let's go ahead and stretch it open unfold it and once again we see some details about the Charbonnel a Walker brand and of course the varieties or selection of chocolates that's in this box. So giving you all the details right there for your reference purposes. So a very wide selection of chocolates in this box and taking a look at the reverse side of the menu there is further brand or chocolatier information of the company and of course, the other chocolates and information about them. Okay, so that's the menu for the Heritage Collection. Let's set that down and on the left hand side of the table and moving on to the box itself. Let's tear open the paper wrapper and lift open or out the paper pad I'm just setting that to the side and of course 
giving you a look top down and into this box of fine milk and dark chocolates and taking a much closer up look at the chocolates you can see they are laid out in a five by five grid so 25 pieces of chocolates altogether with a total combined weight of 325 grams so taking a much closer in look you can see the many varieties of chocolates in this box Okay, so now let's lift a piece off and taste it. So actually, before we do that, let's have a look at the menu and just pick a few of the chocolates to taste. So let's try the Milk Crown. We'll just pick one so far from this first panel. So if we can find the Milk Crown in the box it appears to be this one right here or it might be the plain crown nope the milk crown it is the plain crown is a dark version so giving you a look at the milk crown let's get the camcorder to focus as best we can right there And taking that all round look at the milk crown so we can set the menu right down for now and focus on this piece the milk crown from this box selection or assortment of chocolates and now let's go ahead and taste it So it does have a nice smooth flavor with a hint of coffee to it and now let's finish off the piece And taking a look further in the box let's find another piece to pick out from the box so referring back to the menu let's take a look at the second panel with the English rose English violet and orange cream Let's pick out one of these cream filled chocolates. Let's pick it up from the first row if we can find one in there. 
doesn't look to be in that first column. Let's take a look at the second column. And this looks to be the orange cream. But before I pick it out, let's have a look right there, referencing against the menu. What appears to be orange cream, so right there. Let's lift it out and give it a taste. So setting the menu back down and of course popping that piece of orange cream chocolate and let's get the camcorder to focus. So giving you a sense and overall look at this piece of chocolate. And you can clearly see that it does have a high cocoa solid content with its darker coloring. Well, let's go ahead and taste it. So it does have a delicious orange flavor and you can see that the outer darkish chocolate shell is rather thin so plenty of flavor coming out with that zesty and tangy orange aroma. Now let's go ahead and finish it off. And let's have a couple more tastes. And let's look at the menu. And we've tried the milk crown so far and orange cream. So let's try about two more pieces. So just having a scan through. And looking at this 17P, the marzipan amand. Let's give that a taste. If we can find it in the box. which I do not see because there might be some flavors on the menu that aren't actually in the box. So let's move on and try another piece instead. So having a scan through and let's see what else I can identify. Okay, let's take a look at the reverse side and let's see and I think I see one right here which might be in the box, the fudge vanilla, which I think is that piece right there. It looks close enough. Uh, the image has four stripes, however, this piece here has three ridges on it. 
instead of 4. Well, let's give it a try and find out. So, lifting out. The, what I believe is fudge vanilla, just giving you a look right there against the menu. Sometimes the little details really can be all that separates one flavor from another. So let's chance it. Four ridges on the menu, three ridges on the chocolate. Let's go ahead and taste it. I really can't quite tell what this flavor is. It has a, or had a nougaty kind of flavor profile at the start. Let's finish it off. And before that, giving you a close up look, let's get the camcorder to focus on it. I just put that broken off piece at the top or inside. And yes, it is the fudge vanilla. It's now very reminiscent of the English fudges that you can get, those caramel-like fudges. However, uh, this one is enrobed in chocolate. And now taking a look at the other flavors. Let's try one last flavor, see what else is in the box. And I can see a double piece, which is these two. Let's give them a try. And actually, those two are double pieces as well. And even the hexagonal ones. Let's find out what this one is and taste it. So we can see that it is a noisette cream. So it is a milk or dark chocolate with a hazelnut praline center. So setting the menu back down and let's lift out the What was it again? It was the Moisette cream, that's the name. Right there. And giving you a look at it side by side. And now let's go ahead and taste it.
does have a rather stiff outer dark chocolate shell as you can see once we get the camcorder to focus and of course that filling inside of it So it does have an overall dark chocolate flavor and almost equally flavorsome but creamy middle. So that's the Charbonneau Heritage Collection Fine Milk and Dark Chocolates. Thanks for watching and happy eating!